thieves ransacking local stores. Now the desperate search for a way to stop them. Within the last couple hours, crooks hit up a CVS store in Davis again. An off-duty police officer tried to stop them, but they got away. CBS 13's Marley Ginter is live in Davis with more on this latest theft and the theft and the search for solutions there. Marley. Elizabeth and Tony, hard to believe, but just minutes ago I talked with Davis police and as I was writing this story, another set of thieves hit this CVS behind me right off East Covell Boulevard. Smash and grab thefts with no shame. Some in broad daylight with customers right there watching. In some cases, I know in the barrier, people have gotten hurt trying to intervene. Davis Police Deputy Chief Paul Dorishaw frustrated by yet another brazen yep. theft. We showed you when four thieves went into the CVS off Colvell Boulevard, stuffing as much as they could into duffel bags slung over their shoulders. Now, less than two weeks later, thieves hit that same store, plus two other stores in Woodland, before getting stopped on the interstate and arrested. The people that are doing this are traveling up and down the freeways and, you know, hitting stores in different cities. So when you hear that, what needs to be done to stop this? It's a systemic problem, really. I think from a law enforcement perspective, we really need to work together. Um, I think CHB building a task force is a step in the right direction. CEOs of multiple retailers just wrote Congress calling for legislation to stop criminals from easily reselling stolen merchandise, especially online. Rachel Michelin, president of the California Retailers Association, is taking it in a different direction, wanting diversion programs for the juveniles and homeless being lured into these organized crime rings. We would rather have someone work for us than steal from us. So we want to do whatever we can to help those vulnerable populations not be victimized as they are. Desperate for solutions as thieves step up their game. But now, you know, the last couple of, of weeks that we saw, particularly around Thanksgiving, took this to a whole new level. It's like nothing we've ever seen before. Yeah, it really is incredible to see all of these cases. In fact, right out here, the second theft just today, two different sets of thieves because the thieves from this morning were already arrested. Now, tonight, police are describing them as four male suspects who came into this CVS, all wearing hoodies, who then took off in a Mercedes. So now, the search for them. Yeah, you just wonder what it will take to bring all of these to an end. Thanks, Marley.